Now we can build mobile applications for both Android and iPhone in Bold.new without writing a single line of code. Bold.new has recently introduced this integration with Expo. That means we can now build native mobile applications in Bold.new. This is just an exciting announcement for me. I am in mobile application development business for last 10 years now and it has never been easier to develop mobile applications than it is now. So let me just explain to you everything step by step and then we'll actually try to create a mobile application in bold.new and see how easy it is to build mobile applications. So this is Expo. If you don't know, Expo is a React Native framework that we use to develop mobile applications. So React Native is a JavaScript framework that we use to develop mobile applications. And Expo is just a layer on top of React Native that actually makes it easier for us to build and deploy mobile applications. I have created a very detailed and in-depth video about that, how we can create mobile applications using Expo and and react native in cursor ai so you can watch this video if you are interested in building mobile applications using cursor but in today's video we are going to test bold.new that how we can build mobile applications using bold.new so before we start please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and please click on that like button our goal is to reach 1000 likes for this video also you can join our daily newsletter i have provided a link for daily newsletter in description all right so let's just try creating a mobile application uh, just go to bold.new and log in using your account once you're logged in, simply just give it a prompt, whatever you want to build. So Bolt.new also have like given a kind of an option that build a mobile app application with Expo. Simply just maybe click on that. And after that, then just give an idea what you want to build. All right, so build a mobile app that can manage my day-to-day -day tasks. It should remind me about my daily tasks and keep track of everything. So let's just like try to build something very basic. And then you can simply just press on enter. And now just like that, bold.new will actually start developing this application. The way actually we develop our web applications in bold.new. Similarly, we can now develop mobile applications. This is like just amazing because this is probably the only web-based IDE that I have seen that actually allows you to create React Native applications directly inside web browser. There was, I think, Project IDX as well but this is like bold.new is probably one of the most you can say proper efficient and professional ai code editor that allows you to now build mobile applications which is like amazing so now bold.new is actually creating all of the files and all of the directories that we actually we create like let's suppose nexus projects so it is just like creating everything for us for, for, for react native application as well and now in here if you see now it has actually presented this qr code for us so now this is where it, it, it is actually interesting so what you have to do because it's a mobile application or to test this mobile application you need to install this expo application because expo is a framework that we are using to build and test our application and then also to deploy our application so now to do that what you need to do you need to simply just download this expo app on your mobile phone and then load this application that bold.new has just created into expo app now if you have not watched any of my videos about mobile application development so let me just give you a short introduction here if you are developing an android application only for an android phone so for that all you need is an apk file you just like install that apk file inside your android phone and then your android phone actually allows you to like open like run that application and then test that application but if you're developing an ios application you cannot open that like your iphone ios build directly on on your iphone unless you are using your mac computer if you're developing your ios application on your mac device only then you can actually test your iphone application but in our case we are building this in react native or you can say in expo and in expo to test both of android and ios application what we need to do we need to download and install expo application from google play store or from apple app store so what you need to do if you are an android user just go to your android store and then download expo go from there if you're an iphone user just go to your app store and then download expo go application from there and once you have downloaded your expo go application on your mobile phone what you need to do simply just open that application and then there is an option to scan a qr code simply just click on that option and then go back to your bold.new project that bold.new has just built for us and then simply scan this qr code it will actually open that application inside your mobile phone right now there is an error there's a problem that's why it is not opening that application correctly in our android phone so what we need to do we need to simply just click on fix error so now it should 
fix this error for us and then after it will fix this error then we should be able to now open that application on our mobile phone so now apparently there is no error so let me just open that application again i'm just going to scan it and then open and now it is still loading it usually takes around i think less than a minute to load your application inside your mobile expo go mobile application so right now expo go is just like you can say previewing this application inside expo go mobile application similarly you can just do that like open that in your iphone as well if you're an iphone user now it has opened this application let me just do full screen look at this so now it has opened this application and this application needs permission for notification simply just click on allow so this was actually written in application to like ask for a notification permission because we asked uh bold.new to create a functionality where it actually reminds us to send us reminders so that's why i'll just click on allow after that then there is a simple interface for this application you can simply just click on add task or today's task then click on add you can add your today's task here add description about your task here and then you can simply just click on create task so as, you, as soon as you click on create task it, it has now created a task let me just open that now it has not created a task so there is an error in this application so now to fix that error let's just go back to bold.new and ask it to fix that error so now let's just go back to bold.new when i try to create a task it does not show that task in on my home screen please fix this issue all right so let's just try to fix that also once you have like created your front end and now you're gonna like create back end for your application you can easily do that with connecting your project with superbase superbase is a complete framework to build back end for your applications we'll do that in a separate video in today's video we're just like testing bold.news capability to build a react native and expo applications which is just like an exciting so that's why we are just like testing how good it is and how quickly it actually generates applications for us so now it has created this like made some changings let me just again click on like scan this and then open that directly and now it is just loading this application and now just like that the task that we actually created it has now it has now created that task in here showed that task in here so now i'll just click on that task then i can see i can like click on it like to confirm and like to complete this task i can simply just click on that i can click on this plus button to add a new task so this is how it is working so i mean so far i i mean just to like create a basic task manager application is good enough that actually sends you reminders that actually gives you reminders to like just like to, to send you reminders about about your task try to open this same application on our iphone and see how it works on our iphone so i'll simply just scan this code on my iphone and see how it works so i have expo application on my iphone and then i'll just open my camera to scan this qr code so right now it is just loading this application now you can see when as soon as it has loaded it has now asked us for the same kind of like permission to allow uh, to like send notifications click on add and then similarly you can just add your task on your on your like on iphone and then similarly it will just create those tasks you can simply just press on those task to like complete it and that's it so this is how easy it is to like now to build mobile applications now you can just like keep adding further functionalities and now if you want to like build a backend for your application you can simply just click on connect to superbase and then for that you need to create an account on superbase if you don't have what is superbase superbase is just like a backend framework to build backend for your applications for your web applications and for your mobile applications so superbase is i mean if you if you don't have an account with superbase it is free to create one project but after that first project you can you'll have to like actually pay to create further projects for that so simply just log into superbase using your github account or simply just your email address after that it will just ask you to authorize api access for bolt because we just clicked on this like connect with bolt option simply just click on authorize bolt and then will just give us it is actually creating the a new project and then like building a connection between bolt.new and superbase so now it has created a new project inside superbase and now it is just like linking that project with bolt.new application to build a backend for your project now it is now setting up the authentication creating a database and then after that it will just set up the do the finalized setups it's that easy to build mobile applications with your backends this is just like crazy and the project that it is actually creating is here inside your superbase just go to your dashboard and you can find your project that it is now creating and in here if you see it has created all of these like steps it has created a new project it has set up the authentication system it, ha it has created a database inside our project and then it has finalized that setup so now it is that easy to build 
like backend for your project inside bold.new you haven't written any single line of code you haven't like configured like did any like sql kind of configurations for your project so far and everything is set up for you and now you're actually good to build on top of it and if you want to like change anything in your project or you maybe you want to like run some sql queries in your project you can simply just go to your project inside superbase and then you can just like go to your table editor you can manage your users from here you can manage your authentication systems from here you can manage your database from here you can manage your sql editor from here and you can run sql queries here to like create new tables new columns new type of like data types everything you can manage right here inside superbase and once you're done with development of your application now you can actually simply just go to export.dev login and you can simply just create an account on export.dev there is no cost to do that you can simply just log in with your account and after that you can simply just like like start publishing your application right directly from your export.dev account you can see some of my previous projects here inside export.dev that i built and i can actually manage my builds in here directly inside export.dev i can publish new builds create builds for android and ios and then publish them on app store and android store directly from export.dev i'll create a separate video covering all of those details but in this video i just want to like cover how good bold.news functionality is to build mobile applications now bold.new also has an option to deploy your application directly to app store from here but to publish your applications on apple developer account you need to have a membership and that membership actually costs you around 99 usd per year Similarly to publish on Google Play you need to have a Google Play account and that costs you $25 and that's one time cost. I have both Apple and Google Play accounts and I'll actually guide in for next videos that how you can publish your bold.new applications or maybe if, you, if there is any other mobile application that you have built in cursor or maybe windsurf so you can how you can like publish those on your Apple and Google accounts. That process of publishing applications on Apple and Google actually becomes very simple and easy if you are using export.dev because you can actually distribute your application directly from one platform so in this video i just wanted to guide you that how you can build mobile applications using bold.new in future videos i'll create more detailed tutorials about creating full stack applications using bold.new because even using cursor to build mobile application can be complex sometimes but bold.new just makes everything simple for you because you don't need to install any like dependencies on locally on your computer everything is managed directly in your web browser also i'm going to create complete videos about how you can publish and distribute your applications on app store and google play store so please subscribe to this youtube channel so whenever i launch new videos on this topic you will always get a notification i see you next video bye bye